Good morning, Quackcopter101, and before we get started, let me get the shout-outs out of the way. Today's shout-out goes to Bagus Viper Channel. Bagus Viper Channel was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout-out, so congratulations. What do I have here today? This is an interesting drone. This is the Fun Snap, also known as Xiaomi, also known as Upin Idol. Okay, this is a little, this is a folding drone. It's a selfie drone because it's full. You can tell right away we're probably going to be doing a selfie drone because I got a phone attached to a controller here. This is its controller, by the way, but we'll go over that here shortly. But let's look at the drone. It comes with this nice little carrying case. And you open up like so. Inside the case, we get, and you notice we have this folding drone. It's a folding drone. On the front here is a camera, and I got my fingerprint right on. Let me see if I can clean that off a bit. There we go. <laughs> fingerprint smudge on the front. But uh, the camera, it has, uh, I'll go over the camera here shortly, but let's uh, talk about the drone. Main feature is that it's a folding drone. Make it portable. It snaps open like so, snaps shut, or snaps closed like so. It's held to get open uh, by these magnets here that snap together and hold the arms of the drone open. So let's go over the top from the top. This is a 2S, how many milliamp per hour? Hold on, folks, I got it on my cheat sheet down below. Uh, I forgot, darn it. Let's pull it out and take a look. Let's see how many milliamp per hours, but I'm pretty sure it's 2S. I'm wrong, this is a 3S, 1800 milliamp per hour battery. 3S, 1800 milliamp per hour battery. Proprietary, as you, by design, as you can see here. Um, I got two with mine. I'm not sure. I think there are some available. You can buy uh, with multiple batteries, two in particular, uh, instead of uh, one as your option. I would recommend that if you are interested in getting this because you're probably going to want that extra battery. Um, other things on the, the drone, it does have GPS. GPS is right in, in this section right here. It does have this 1080p camera with a swivel lens that can swivel up or down. The motors on this are brushless. They are brushless motors. Uh, they're pusher motors pushing up from the bottom. Looking on the bottom of this thing, it has an ultrasonic uh, sensor. That tells me right now that that helps to maintain the altitude of the drone. In addition, it has a barometric sensor inside also to maintain altitude. Um, in addition to GPS to help it hold its position, it also has optical flow. So this optical flow and this ultrasonic sensor tells me right away that this also is meant to be flown indoors as well as outdoors. Okay, Outdoors, you got GPS. Indoors, you have... Uh, the optical flow and ultrasonic sensor to help it maintain position. Um, also, it has eight gigabytes of onboard storage. Okay, you, you don't use a micro SD card slide. It it has its own micro SD card installed in there somewhere, an eight gigabyte version or amount of memory. Um, I don't know if it actually is a micro SD card. Probably not, but it does have built-in memory, and you can download your photos and videos through this micro USB port. You can also use its app to download the 1080p uh, video to your phone uh, after you land it uh, if you want to share it online, you know, using social media. So you can download uh, the video directly to your phone without using this micro SD port. And the way it does that is through 5G Wi-Fi, which I need to mention. This is control, uh, the FPV from this drone is viewable and controlled uh, via 5G Wi-Fi, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Now, not everybody has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, so before considering purchasing this, make sure that your phone or tablet is 802.11 AC Wi-Fi capable. Okay, now let's go over some other features. I got to get my cheat sheet for this. You know, this has a lot, lots of features. Um, let me hold it back up again. Uh, in, in addition, uh, through its app, it can be flown through its app also. Um, through that app, you have electric fence capability. You can adjust it from 20, 40 to a maximum of 60 meters distance. This is not meant to be flown, you know, long range, folks. And I'll, I'll go over that why, uh, looking at its controller too, because its controller only uses three AAA batteries. But you know, the maximum distance is about 60 meters, and then it runs into uh, the GPS fence, okay, to help prevent it from flying away. Um, it does have return to home capability because of that GPS. So if we lose control of the drone, you just, or if you lose signal from the drone, you just hit return to home and it'll fly itself back automatically. Or 
you know, it, it will automatically fly back if it loses signal from your controller or phone or on low battery. It will return home and land. Um, other features this has is gesture, which means you can take photos using uh, hand gestures. Mainly, you hold up a V and it will take a photo of you. If you hold up your hand like so, it will automatically land. So it has two gestures that it will understand for control, taking a photo and landing. Um, other things it has, it has optical follow me. We'll test how well that actually works, but most of the time when I test optical follow me on lower cost quadcopters, it doesn't work very well. We'll see how well that works with this one here. And it also has intelligent flight modes similar to DJI intelligent flight modes, namely of rocket, where it flies directly up, automatically taking a video of you while it does that. It has droney, where it flies up and away, which is a pan shot in effect or not a pan shot what do you call that a um crane shot crane shot <laughs> yeah, up and away crane shot it'll do and also sarad where it turns around in a circle but i think it also will, will do circle me we'll find out here shortly when i fly it and let me make sure i'm not missing anything else that's about it that's the main features of the drone before we go into the fire this up let's go over the controller it comes available buy and fly without a controller, but I recommend spending the extra money and getting the controller version because you're probably going to want it if you get this drone. But let's go over the buttons of the drone. Uh, we have a scroll wheel on the back of the controller, not drone, <laughs> which is used for aiming the camera lens up or down. Um, you can take photos and videos from this controller by pressing quick press of this button here or a long press to take a video, start and stop the video. Buttons on the right is this one here. The big one is one key return and landing, return to home and landing. And this one here is rates for changing uh, how fast or how much this drone will pitch and roll. Uh, to increase that, you press that button here and you get more control, you know, higher amount of pitch and roll. And on the front, it's very simple on off switch and automatic takeoff and landing. Now you can press this automatic takeoff and landing button to take off, but you can also manually start up the motors by bringing both sticks down and out like so to start the motors and then take off by giving it throttle. Okay, that's about it. Let's fire up this drone, connect it to its app via 5G Wi-Fi and see how it performs. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, this is its fun snap app. Now before we go flying, we're flying outdoors, we're going to be using GPS. And if you're using GPS, I always like to do a compass calibration. And you do that by hitting that gear icon in the upper right corner to come to this screen. This is the settings screen. Now notice in the settings screens we can calibrate sensors, which we're going to do here shortly. You can upgrade the app, which I did before flying this. You can update the firmware of the drone by pressing that firmware upgrade, and I've done that already at home. Um, you can adjust the frequencies of the uh, video. I want 60 hertz frequency. Let's make sure that's 60 hertz. <laughs> And uh, Wi-Fi setting, uh, frequency, you, let me just mention that. This is for the camera. Um, you, depending on your lighting at home, this is for flying indoors. Um, if, you've got a 50, if you're 50 hertz frequency um, and you try to use this camera, you're going to get flickering of the lighting. You want to match the frequency of your particular country's electricity so you don't get flickering caused by external lighting. Uh, Wi-Fi settings, let's press that button. You can set up a password. I'm not going to do that. Uh, language settings, you can set it to English. I've done that. Uh, you can clear out the SD card by pressing clear SD card and it'll erase it. And you can go back and recover or reset it to uh, factory settings by hitting recovery. But right now, all I want to do is calibrate the compass. Now, I've done a horizontal calibration at home. That's where you set the drone on a flat and level surface and it'll calibrate its gyros. And those are, have been calibrated, but one, right now I want to calibrate its compass. So I'm going to hit got it, start calibrating. And to do this calibration, we are going to rotate four times horizontally. It doesn't matter which way you turn, but you just got to turn four times horizontally until the app tells you to turn vertically. It's still telling me to turn horizontally. And now it's telling me to turn vertically. So I hold the drone like so and continue the compass calibration dance. By the way, I can hear that ultrasonic sensor going ch -ch 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 -ch. after this rotation is complete. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can hear it. It's 
still doing the cup of scallop. And we are done, complete. Now listen, I don't know if you can hear that or not. Hear it slow down as I get farther away? It's a sonar on the bottom coming out of that sensor there. Okay, we are calibrated. We should be good to go here. I'm gonna hit complete. And we're gonna back out of this, back out of this, and hit start flying. Okay, this is our FPV screen. We can see we got camera uh, view. Um, the controls on the left, we can adjust using the app only, uh, the camera angle up and down. I'm not gonna use that right now. We have a turn to home setting in the lower left corner there. And at the very bottom lower left corner is the automatic takeoff and landing button. In the far right side, we hit intelligent mod, and we can set intelligent tracking and turn it on by moving that slider bar to the right. We can set up gesture control and turn it on by moving the slider to the right and then giving it a V or holding up our hand to make it land. And also we have rocket, drony, and surround, which will activate once we're in the air. Other things, flying settings. If we click on that, we can set the rates. Uh, right now it's in fast rate. I wanna put it to slow rate because we hardly have any wind and we can turn on headless mode. We can use gravity mode where we fly it using the phone sensor only. Uh, it's G sensors in, in board the phone, but I don't want to use that. We can use the controller. And we can set left hand, right hand, in other words, mode uh, two or mode one throttle. And geofence is set to 60 meters right now. If we click on geofence, we can set it also to 30 or 40, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna leave it at 60. So let's back out of that. Okay, right now, let's hit start the video camera recording, and we're going to do a manual takeoff, down and out. We have uh, 22 satellites. Let's send it into the air. Sticks down and out. Manual takeoff. Always do a hover test like I did there, folks. You're looking for that uh, toilet bowl effect. If you flying a GPS drone and you see toilet bowl effect, you want to immediately land it. So, okay. Now, let's take it up a bit higher and let's lower that, take it up even a little higher. Down is this way and down is that way. And now let's try one of the intelligent flight mode. First off, we're going to start off with intelligent tracking and it's circling me. And no block selection target, there we go. Let's see if it'll follow me. Apparently not. <laughs> Did I have to hit start or something? Let's try it again. Okay. I'm going to put it there. We're going to hit intelligent mode again. And intelligent tracking. Circle me. And let's see if it actually turns. <laughs> it's turning away. <laughs> and it lost me. So, intelligent flight mode. And I'm noticing some lag. Well, there we go. It's, it doesn't work very well. <laughs> let's come down a little lower. We'll raise up the camera. And let's try intelligent bot again. Intelligent tracking. Over me. And will it follow me? It's following me. If you go real slow, will it follow me? I moved over here. You gotta be real slow for this thing to follow you, to track you intelligently. And it probably varies with the power, power of your uh, particular device that you're using your phone. But it's doing it, but very slow. Oh, it overshot me. It's trying to predict where I'm going. So, tracking, meh, not so much. Let's turn that off. Intelligent tracking is off. Let's try droney now. Um, let's go up a bit higher. Lower the uh, camera, because I want to do a droney. I'm going a little higher. And intelligent float mode and hitting droney. And there it goes up and away into the sun. <laughs> Let me hit stop and bring it back down. 
bring it back over to me. This time, let's do a drony in this direction, not into the sun, so you can see it. Going back up again. Centering my position. Intelligent mode. Hitting drony. And there it goes, up and away. Let's see how far it goes. Up and away. <laughs> Still going up and away. We'll go all the way out to 60 meters. I don't know. Right there is where it stopped. <laughs> so that's a droney. Coming back forward. Lowering throttle, th lowering throttle, lowering throttle. Bringing it back in. Next thing we're going to do is get underneath this thing, lower its lens. I'm looking at its lens coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Getting right overhead. Intelligent mode. And then rocket. <laughs> is it recording? <laughs> yeah, it's recording. <laughs> Going up, up, up and away. How about we... How high does it go? Okay, that's enough. We'll bring it back down. Hey, as you're coming back down from these, I recommend giving it forward pitch. Don't try to reduce throttle in hover because this thing will, is probably ripe for entering into vortex ring state, which means stalling of the props. So when you're doing such, try to fly forward when you're reducing throttle to come back down again. Okay. So that was its drony. I want to raise up the camera again. Too high. It actually looks up a bit. Let's, let me show you that. I'm getting close to turning it this way. Let's raise up the camera lens. Notice it goes up. It goes up about 10 degrees, 15 degrees. But I want it, I want it to be right about there. So, okay. It's coming back out. Did we do everything? We haven't done surround. Let's hit surround. And let's pull back. Now notice it, it rotates 360 degrees in surround. Let's pull back on the stick. We'll do a, ro a circle me is why I pull back on the stick. And apparently not. Okay, so surround merely, merely circles. It does a circle. So with that in mind, let's send it up higher. Raise up the camera. Not that high. Okay, right about there. Intelligent mod and surround. And let it do a circle of the area. There's our uh, Home Depot off in the distance. <laughs> My car, Stater Brothers. <laughs> and our new uh, junior high school over there and our tennis courts and our high school and it just does a 360 in effect folks when you want to get a 360 pan in the area you use that mode there it wants to return i'm going to hit confirm let's see if where it comes it goes back it's getting low in power and i just want to see where it's going to land where it thinks its home is and I'd say we're a good three, three, four meters off. <laughs> At least three to four meters. <laughs> four meters. The yeah, throttle died. Not. So that was its first battery. I got another battery. Let's play with it some more here. So hold on, folks. I'll throw in that other battery and we'll take to the air again. Okay, here's the second battery. Let's hit start flying. And we're connected already. I want to lower that camera. It's too high, right about there. And start recording. This time we're going to do an automatic takeoff using the automatic takeoff button of the controller. So again, you can take off two ways. It sticks down and out or hitting the automatic takeoff button. Okay, let's check the uh, hover. Going up a bit higher. You know, I'm not sure I, I've done this already. Go up a bit higher, right about there. And say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> okay. Let's see, we did intelligent flight modes. Um, let's see how this thing performs in terms of flying ability. I think I am in higher rate. Let me double check that. 
yes I am in high rate fast so let's push it forward see how it flies at high rate with the sticks Wow <laughs> it flies a lot better than I thought it would a lot better than I thought it would and you plop it up there and this time I'm gonna manually rotate it around the area from up there this is a nice little 1080p camera on this let's see if we can see the lights let's go as high as the lights There's the lights, a little bit higher. A little bit forward, there's the lights. So, okay, how high are we? Let me see here, uh, out to 12 meters up. So those lights are 12 meters, okay. About 12 meters, and you notice on the top there, there are um, uh, telemetry information. How about speed? Actually, it does have speed, so let's, Let's notice the speed. Let's see what max speed we can get on this. Full forward pitch. Reduce the throttle. Full forward pitch. I don't know what it's reading because I'm watching the drone. <laughs> Almost hit the ground there. <laughs> but that's its max speed. And it's back at hover again. So, interesting. Okay, let's try out the camera. I haven't taken any photos yet. Remember the uh, ability of intelligent uh, gesture control? Let's try that. Yeah, let's see, intelligent mode, is it gesture control is on. Okay, it's on. Let's try it. Holding up, coming in and holding up the V. We'll do it. Yeah. Try it again. Maybe got to get closer. Hold up the V. Did I turn on gesture control? Coming in closer. Okay. Going back to intelligent flight mode. Turning gesture control off. And turning the video camera off. Maybe that's the issue here. I'm going to turn the camera off for a second. And uh, hitting intelligent flight mode again. And hitting gesture control again. And let's try it again. I'm trying, folks. <laughs> okay, it's not doing it. How about if I held up my hand? Oh, it, it recognized that. <laughs> so maybe it was taking pictures I just didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe I just didn't notice. Well, it did the landing okay. So, hopefully, it was taking pictures. I'll check when we get home or with the drone here. Uh, going back into the air, this time manually. So, that was gesture control. One more of that. I, I just don't feel satisfied that it did it properly. Okay, oh, there we go. I saw something that time. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Intelligent flight mode gesture control. Needs a little bit of work. Is it off? Okay, I did like droney. So we'll do another droney. Droney. <laughs> Crane shots. Going up and away and coming back down and in. Let's bring it in. That's enough of that. So, Drody works. One more time with um, rocket mode. Plop it in the camera. Do I need to plop the camera down or does it know to do such? Let's find out. Let's do rocket. Uh, apparently, I do need to push the camera down in rocket. It doesn't know to do that. So... Hello up there. <laughs> Coming back down. Again, as you come back down, full forward pitch. And reducing throttle to bring it back down. 
By the way, it flies very well. <laughs> I, I think I mentioned that already. I'm surprised at how well it flies. Let's see it do some funnels. Let's turn on the camera. It says, low power, please land immediately. Uh, this time I want to see what it, oh, it's doing it itself. I didn't tell it to do that, folks. It's coming back and landing itself. So, it does it itself on low power. <laughs> and that's it. That's the second battery that I got. So, that's all we're going to get. Um, let me stop the video before I turn this off. So, all in all, interesting drone from FunSnap. Also, Xiaomi. Also, I don't know, several others claim <laughs> names to this but it's really fun snap so hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 signing out